we are presenting some recent results from the millimeter array. There was a high mass star forming region which shows its very rich chemistry. So these regions are very different from the low mass star forming regions, as for example is our sun. And then what we have found is a chemical segregation, uh, which means that we see different morphologies for different molecular species that can be explained by a combination of different physical processes within the inner, very inner regions of these, of these cores. So we have modeled uh, this high mass star forming region and what we have found is that this chemical segregation is a combination of two chemical effects. So the first chemical effect is a high mass, a high temperature gas phase chemistry, and then the second chemical effect is a strong UV photodissociation. So by comparing the results, the observations with the modeling, so we are able to establish the physical conditions within these regions, which will enable us to understand the origin and the formation processes towards the subjects. So the goal of this work is to study the impact of the UV radiation field in the carbon chemistry of uh, photodissociation regions, and in particular, the link, uh, the link with the, of the small hydrocarbons like C2H and C3H, with the with the larger carbon species, which are called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons or PHs. To do this, we combine observations at uh, different uh, wavelengths. For example, obtained with uh, ground-based observatories and uh, with uh, and with the uh, space observatories like the Spitzer Telescope and uh, the Akari uh, Japanese Telescope. And uh, the conclusion is of our work is that uh, we can uh, that is that uh, the, the 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 pH. Uh, the pH uh, molecules can, uh, can maybe a source of small hydrocarbons in uh, in this in this kind of region. I've observed uh, forming stars in uh, in uh, relatively nearby star forming regions in our galaxy, and uh, so these stars are, are low low mass uh, protostars. Uh, we call them, and uh, they are uh, thought to uh, when they're when they are uh, finished uh, being born, so to say, they are uh, going to resemble our own sun, um, and uh, and um, with um, uh, what we looked for when we did these observations was water, uh, uh, and and as we see here in the spectra. Uh, we detected water in all in all of our sources, and and these are uh, maps that show uh, just this water emission uh, in all of the uh, these four sources, uh, these forming stars. Uh, but we don't we don't only detect wa water; we detect several other molecules uh, in the sources, and. Um, what we try to do is to uh, figure out uh, where this water emission, uh, where and how the water emission is produced in these uh, um, stars. And uh, the observations are on the same scales as our uh, solar system, roughly, roughly a little bit bigger.